it's me, Tamika, aka Skinny Girl, and my VSG body. So, Happy New Year, everybody! Oh my god, I can't believe that we are in 2018. 2017 owes me nothing. It was amazing now it was not one of my best years I'm not gonna say that but it was not one of my worst years let me tell you something I, I, your girl been through some things and let me tell you 2017 was not bad at all now there are some things on my goal list that I did not accomplish that will carry over to 2018 which is pretty much fine with me because they're probably ongoing um, goals that I'm gonna be working on anyway I want to lose 50 pounds by June so pretty much I'm saying giving myself a window about maybe 10 pounds a month um, between now and June. And that's when I go see my uh, surgeon, Dr. Uh, Brian Cantor. Um, that's when I go see him for my two year uh, post-op review. Now I'll go, not review, checkup, sorry. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna briefly just go over my stats. Um, any of you newbies, I am Tamika, hey y'all, hey. And um, I just wanna say I first started um, off my weight loss journey at 325 pounds. That, that's where I started the program at. Um, at Holy Cross Hospital in Silver Spring, Maryland, where, as I stated earlier, Dr. Brian Cantor was my surgeon and his bariatric team was amazing. My insurance that I have is Kaiser Permanente. Um, and I actually like the highest weight ever recorded for me was 333 pounds. Um, when I had surgery, which was on June 14, 2016, I was 309 pounds. Um, so I went from 325 to 309 due to the liver shrinking diet, which I probably should try again. But, um, but and and as of today, which is June, January the the second, I okay. So my lowest weight ever was is 231 pounds. I was I was killing it. Somehow, I've crept up over these holidays and not working out since maybe like September, being consistently working out since September um, because I had ended up getting, no, okay, no excuses, no excuses, but I wasn't consistently working out anymore, so I picked up a second job and I've gained some weight. So when I weighed myself, mm, I was 246.7 pounds. Oh girl. Mm. So I was holding steady and stalled at 233. So making okay. Let me not go talk about that. Anyway, so if you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram, also under Skinny Girl in My VSG Body, where I am always on there posting and talking and communicating with you all. Um, I love communicating with you all like some of you are hilarious let me tell you something y'all get me through my day okay you all give me some amazing tips on foods different clothes um just i love seeing you all with your families i love seeing you all doing different workouts so let's keep on the motivation and motivating each other and getting through this year so um one of the uh things of course everybody do every year especially the beginning of the years everybody wants to lose weight we on this weight loss journey well you know for somebody like me this weight loss journey is a daily struggle it's a daily um thing so it just doesn't reset and start over at the beginning of the year it's something that is constantly something that i'm gonna have to be doing for the rest of my life but these are a few things, um, if you haven't seen from the title, there are a few things that I personally must have in my life and that gets me through, sorry, cut that off. So it pretty much gets me through um, my days and being able to help me curb my appetite, um, be able to help me stay motivated and things like that. So I wanted to share those with you and hopefully, you know, you all can share some things that you all must have as well. Um, and, and maybe I can implement them in, in, in my journey as well. So let's get started. So first, one of the things that is very, very important to me is to make sure that I get my water intake in. And so because that's one of my goals for the month of January is to drink more water because of course we get full faster. Um, 
I carry water with me all the time. So this is one of my many, many, many water bottles that I carry. You see, it has, I just put more water in it um, from me drinking. So this is probably about my second uh, bout with water today with this um, bottle. Um, but even if I have like, you know, the regular bottle of water, I have water with like, like sippy cups. I mean, I have all kinds of containers that I carry water in with me at all times. Um, this is also to make sure that I stay hydrated because who wants to go to the hospital due to dehydration? Not me. Um, so this is a must have water bottle. Any kind of water bottle. I have water bottles in my trunk of my car. Um, at work I have like probably like three or four different water jugs. So I have big water jugs, small water jugs. Just, just make sure that I carry this around so I'm always available to get me some some water in. And I, I hope that for 2018 I do better with getting my water intake in because we all know water is one of the major keys to losing weight. So make sure y'all get y'all water in, y'all. And again, this is my must-have. So make sure it's one of your must-haves too. One of my my VSG must-haves are protein shakes yes these are pretty much my two favorite atkins and premier um two of my favorite types of protein shakes um you can create these shakes in so many different ways you can you know um have them frozen you can um put them in your coffee you can just drink them straight out the, you know, out of here. Pretty much sometimes, like I know sometimes if I'm hungry before I go working out, I'll drink, pick up one of these and just drink it real fast. Um, you know, now they don't have the same amount of like protein in it, but um, the one good thing is, you know, um, is that you can always add protein. And what I do is I always add my Isopure, which is a flavorless protein. It has uh, 25 grams of protein um, per scoop. Um, this is a, a pound bag, so it's about this is about 16 servings in here and you can see I'm almost out. I probably have maybe about one more or two more scoops in here, but I just ordered some more today through Amazon Prime. And it was only maybe like $14, I think, for this for this bag. You can also get a bigger like, uh, kind of like um, tub um, from, I believe, the vitamin shop I've seen it in and probably GNC too. Um, and you can also order it all again off of Amazon or straight directly through their website. But yeah, I'll add this flavorless protein into soups. I'll add it into, you know, any type of maybe like, um, like creams, like anything, like if I'm doing like anything pasta y, if that's the word. Um, I'll also add it to the Atkins shake because it only has 15. And I'll also add it into my um my premiere as well it's, it's not gonna hurt to have extra protein in either one of those shakes um sometimes i'll add it into like if i'm craving like a smoothie or if i'm craving like an icy and i make like a smoothie type um icy because you know i'm addicted to ice cream i'll add this in here just to make sure that i have you know some, some type of protein I'm, I'm getting some type of value out of something that i'm eating so you know these proteins shakes powder are my must have so are they on your list too? So since we're in the in the business of talking about protein, these are a lifesaver. These tuna um, creations are amazing. Now listen, I can't eat regular tuna out of can. I'm just not that girl, never been that girl. Certain potted meats can't eat out of a can. But since Starkist made these, I have been able to tolerate them only because of the flavor. Now, um, I'll, you know, each pouch has its own different, um, like calories and also how much protein is in each of them. Um, listen, these things are amazing. They're amazing. I have all flavors. I just bought some more like a Chipotle flavor, a hickory, a smoked hickory one. Of course you have the ranch, you have the, the herb and garlic, you have the, the sweet and spicy. Um, and I'll just add maybe, you know, like a tablespoon maybe of mayo. Um, not even maybe like a tablespoon, maybe like a teaspoon of, of mayo because I don't, I don't try to put a lot of it in there. Um, you can put it on salads. Um, Sometimes I might add some um, crayon raisins to it um, just to kind of give it like a sweeter flavor if I'm craving something sweet. Um, but definitely, 
I have like a little seasoning pack that I made myself, which consists of um, obey, uh, garlic powder, and um, parsley flakes. And I'll sprinkle this on top of it just to give it a little kick. And look, eat it with a little bit of crackers or by itself, and call it a meal. So these tuna selects are a must have. So, so yeah, make sure that you get yourself some tuna selects. Keep, I keep them at my desk, keep them in the pantry. Nah, I don't keep them in the car though, but make sure you get you some. And number four, number four on my list of must haves. Okay, so in the age of, you know, fixed incomes it's very very important that you meal prep so meal prepping is a must-have and it's a must thing that I do because one meal prepping helps me save money Two, meal prepping helps me take the guesswork out of what I'm going to eat and it distracts me from not wanting to eat anything bad because if you're on the go and if you can't just you know get it out the refrigerator what you gonna do run to the fast food place and get you something to eat right well one of my must-haves that I must have are Tupperwares. Yes, I have all kinds of Tupperware, different shapes, bowls, different um, containers. Look at this. I think I got this from like dollar store or something like that. This has like two, so sometimes, like tonight, it's Tuesday, I made tacos. Yes, that girl made a bomb shrimp and lamb taco tonight. Mm. Let me know if you want that recipe. But you know, pretty much, containers anything that can maybe go into the microwave or separate my food differently um look at this three different slots for your different meals and i made tacos and i pretty much put like you know the meat here put the cheese there put you know the onions there then i in this one i put like the tomatoes and i put the coleslaw on that on that side and this can go right in your lunch bags um, it stores easily, cleans easy, microwave will save, and then look at my job. My job being proactive, because I work for a healthcare company, so they they all proactive and stuff, and got this for us for Christmas. So what it is, it's a, a, it's a plate, and it has each section. So it has for the healthy grains, for the, the lean protein, and then this right here is, is how much servings you should have for your, your vegetables. Now, as a weight loss, um, surgery patient we already know I'm not eating off of this I'm not even eating half of this I probably eat the, about this much serving total and everything that I eat but it's a very very good plate to have just to kind of um, you know just see how much that you should be eating so this is more of my even though these are the similar the same similar the same Lord Jesus that's like saying is you finished or is you done anyway they're similar <laughs> but this one is just smaller so this one is, is pretty much the one that i carry more often than none and i have another one of these um as well so make sure y'all get y'all some tupperware and you know make sure that, that you meal prep because that's what's going to help you be successful in this weight loss journey number five so listen okay new year new us right um everybody is working out in the gym now the memberships is up them gyms are packed and everybody is trying to get their workout in so in order to be successful and a must have that i must have at all times on me are my sneakers yes i carry sneakers with me everywhere i go i have a pair at my desk at work i have a pair in the trunk of my car and of course i have sneakers at home now make sure that you get a nice pair of comfortable sneakers that will be you know conducive to your working out making sure that you you know don't wear sneakers that are too small or something that messes with your arch because my feet are flat so i have to make sure that i find the perfect shoe to work out in i always have a pair of socks that are with me as well um so I have no excuse on why I can't go walking on my lunch breaks. I can't I can't have no excuses on why I can't go to the gym after work. I can't, I don't have no excuse why I can't work out at home because I got sneakers with me at all times. So make sure this is on your must have list. Make sure that you put some sneakers everywhere. If you got an extra, you know, extra pair of sneakers that you know you're able to to do that and be able to have those sneakers wherever, 
do it, okay? If I could, I would have sneakers in my friends' cars, at their houses, just because, look, y'all, let's go work out. I got my sneakers over here. We ain't got no excuses, right? So, <laughs> make sure that those are on your must-have list as well. Well, that's it, guys. Those were my five things um, that I must have in order to be a successful uh, weight loss surgery or VSG. -er. Um, now, if you have something that was not on my list, make sure that you write it down below and let me know what are some of your must-haves because I might want to add them to my list as well. And it might have been something that I might not even thought of. So, you know, let's get this talking going on, discussion back and forth. Um, again, I could be found on Instagram at Skinny Girl and my VSG body. Um, also, um, make sure that, that you share and you comment and you like this video. If you want to see more of these type of videos, just let me know what kind of topics that you want to talk about for 2018. I'm excited. I'm coming up on my one year YouTube anniversary. Now, I had already secured my YouTube channel, you know, already like January 1. So, technically, I've been a YouTuber for a year. But my first video did not come out until uh, January the 31st of 2017. So, go me. Go me. Go me. Okay. That's enough. Anyway, so I hope you all come back next week and I will talk to you later. Bye.